Hello, it's Tristan here from Open Energy Monitor. So I'm going to give a bit of a demo here of setting up the heat pump monitor using a new front-end website I'm working on that runs off Emon CMS in the background, but really simplifies the process of setup and has a new and improved heat pump dashboard as part of it. Um, so here I'm looking at the Emon ESP um, Wi-Fi firmware that's running on the heat pump monitor. I've already got it um, configured to connect to my local network here and there's data coming through from the monitoring part of the meter. Um, the next step is to authenticate it with the remote server. So I'll navigate here to openenergymonitor.org forward slash dev forward slash energy which is this new front end uh, layer I'm, I'm working on um, and I'll just create an account here. So in the background, this has created an account on emoncms.org, and this is the right API key that we need to copy over here into to connect and authenticate the heat pump monitor. So we click save, and the next step is to go to device config. So once the heat pump monitor posts up to emoncms, um, the it will appear here in the device list. So we might have to wait about 10 to 20 seconds for this to happen. There we go. So there are several different configurations. Um, and uh, as, as I went over in the, um, in the last screencast, when you select a configuration, it will, uh, it will um, configure all the inputs and feeds that you need. Uh, for uh, any of these um, configurations in the background. Um, so here I'll just select Open Energy Monitor, um, sort of uh, standard CT-based energy monitoring alongside the Camstrap 402 MBUS heat meter. I'll uh, click Configure. So, yep, in the background there, it's created the inputs and feeds needed for um, this configuration, um, and it's all ready to go really. Um, so you might have also just noticed here in the top left corner um, the My Heat Pump dashboard uh, appeared. So it's it's scanning and it's checking to see if there are, if the feeds that it needs are available and then once, it, once the feeds are available it shows the link for the dashboard here. So if I click on My Heat Pump um, and this is so this is the basic dashboard and um, there's not much data at the moment you can see I mean, the heat pump's off at the moment as well, so this, the COP is showing zero, the heat pump power is 11, which is the standby power, and uh, this, this the heat output is uh, zero as it's off, and flow temperature is pretty much the room temperature. Um, and you, so this graph here will show the sort of the detailed view over time, um, and then after a couple of days, it will actually show the daily uh, heat and daily uh, electricity input as the default view and then you can click on a particular day to see the detailed power and temperature view. And at the bottom here we've got the total, so the total electricity in and the total heat output and the all-time COP. Um, so that's it really. Um, I will, I'll just log into my um, actual heat pump account uh, which has a bit more data in it uh, to show um, a little bit more of what that dashboard does. So I've now got several months of data on here. So you can see here in the winter time there was I was using the heat pump a fair bit more and uh, I haven't been using it so much recently for obvious reasons. Um, but if I just zoom in here and select say uh, 9th of July, I can see the COP on this particular day was 3.7. Um, it consumed 3.2 kilowatt hours of electric and there was 11.6 kilowatt, kilowatt hours of heat output. If you click on that day then you can see the sort of the detailed uh, el electric and um, heat and temperature graph and you can zoom in over a period to, to see that 
that period in more uh, you know in more detail and I can see in this particular window the COP was 3.9 you can also expand this and, and get a little bit more detail here um, which can be quite useful so um, yeah I mean that's that's it really